KSI versus Tommy Fury didn't live up to everyone's expectations, but more people believe that KSI was robbed of a victory. Carl Froch wasn't entertained by the fight at all, and he thinks that it should have been a draw at best. Carl stated, The fight was absolutely diabolical. It was probably the worst fight I've ever seen. It's cringy to watch. Like, what are these two guys doing? It's appalling. Everyone agrees how it was. And then they've got the audacity at the end to have an argument. You've just had six rounds to hit each other and you stood and held each other. Now you want to have a argument? I don't think anybody should have won. It should have been a draw. Jake Paul doesn't think that KSI has a leg to stand on, and he thinks that he should take his loss like a man. Jake stated, To see KSI just disintegrating, acting like the sorest loser in the world, I expected that. This kid's ego is out of control. Kicking the screens, crying, asking for an appeal. This guy is 30 years old acting like this. Take it like a man, you lost. Tommy had a point deducted and you still lost. John Fury wasn't too happy about how KSI handled things after the fight and he thinks that KSI needs to learn to lose with dignity. John stated, I did go over to KSI after the Tommy Fury fight and try to be reasonable with him. I said, fair play to you. I put my hand out to him and he wouldn't even shake it. That's up to him, but they need a lesson in how to be men. He spat at me, so I could have said I'm not going near him. But I know the fight game and what you do at the end of a fight is shake the man's hand, win, lose, or draw. But these people don't get it today. I'm old-fashioned. Tommy Fury was very happy with his performance though, and he feels like he accomplished what he set out to do. Tommy stated, I said I'd beat these two inside 12 months, and guess what? I beat Jake Paul on his own show, and I beat KSI on his own show. I'm the head of this table now. There's nobody else that can call the shots. I'm the man in crossover boxing now. I run it. As for Eddie Hearn, he believes that Tommy should have lost the fight due to the point deduction. Eddie stated, No, he had a point deducted. KSI won the fight. Even Deji was present at the fight and he believed that KSI got robbed. You know, I believe you got robbed. Yeah. Do you think that there was some kind of conspiracy for Tommy Fury to win this thing? I believe so, yeah, because obviously Tommy winning it's, it's not like a good look on uh, professional boxing. So I believe that's what they were doing, yeah. Chris Eubank Jr. believes that there should be a rematch because he thought that KSI won. Chris stated, I think KSI won. I thought he landed more shots, pushed the pace more, and boxed better. Tommy has been brought up and boxing's been his life. For KSI to go in there and do six competitive rounds with this guy in a fight a lot of people thought he won, it's a huge thing. He shouldn't be embarrassed or ashamed. There should be a rematch. Tyson Fury was present for the fight and he was excited about Tommy's decision win. Even after Logan finished his own fight, he thinks that KSI won his fight. Logan, what do you think? Horse. Do you think KSI won? Horse. Yeah, I think JJ won. I don't know. I'm... Jake Lucky seems to be on KSI's side, as he thinks that Tommy was handed the victory to make his family proud. Lucky stated, Boxing literally had to give Tommy Fury the win so he wouldn't lose his family. That's wild. Kai Sinet was very surprised about the decision, and he seemed more shocked than anyone else. Tommy! Wow! What? Tommy Fury! Andrew Schultz wasn't too happy about any of the fights, and he thinks that the fans were the real losers. I'll be honest, I think the, the, the real loser are the, the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> All 18,000 of us here watching that horrible <laughs> fight.
fight. What do you make of Dylan's tactics? I was surprised there was more jujitsu in Tommy and KSI's fight than there was in Dylan and Logan's. Okay, I was flip flop for me. I mean, they're all brave for going out there. I hope they make all the money in the world. God bless them all, man. Thank you very much. What's next for both guys? I hope uh, Jake and KSI fight. I'd love to see that. And Dylan, whatever he wants to do, he can sell any fight. You know that? What about you, man? Are you going to get in the ring? I'm not getting in the ring, bro. I'll get on stage. Everybody in the Sidemen box was extremely surprised about the decision, and they seemed to be at a loss of words. The Sidemen box react to the KSI versus Tommy decision. After the fight, they made their opinions pretty clear, though. He did up to point, yeah. He's done enough to at least take a draw. He's fine, he's fine. Fred, love you, mate. Have a great life. Have a good night, friend. I'll see you soon. Make sure you can't be so deep in. Josh, what do you make of it tonight? It is what it is. The game is the game, like I tweeted. I don't know enough about boxing to comment on mm. You know more. You tell me. <laughs> I thought he ran about a round, to yeah, be I, honest. He did clinch a lot, convincing. but Either then way. Tommy had a round taken off. Sorry, yeah. he had a point taken off, yeah. so... I don't know, I don't know. I like, we're in a box, it's quite further distance. I think the TV will help you more see it properly. Watch it slow it down. I don't know. What, what, the was, that, what was the vibe in the Simon box like? We finally thought we got it. Yeah. Sorry, and I, I think I, I messaged Sam, we've done it already. I was like, oh, okay, you must have done it. Like I said, I don't know enough. Mm. You know I, mean? I don't know enough. Do you think you get the rematch happens now? I don't, I don't even know. Darren Till was extremely disappointed in the entire night, and he tweeted, watched an absolute atrocity last night in the form of boxing. Logan is dog shit. Tommy is even more dog shit. KSI is dog shit. Dylan couldn't box eggs. No one won. Hell won, cause we're living in it. Platinum Perry was the only real fighter there last night, and after I knock him clean out, I would comatose all of the above. Bad, real bad. Good night, God bless. The Gorilla. Congrats to At Misfits Boxing for the success of the show. The production and everything was pinpoint perfect. Conor McGregor gave KSI credit for his skill level, and he even thinks that they would be a good matchup. Conor tweeted, You know what? Me and KSI is an exciting fight. A juicy encounter. I used to call them Nixers back when I was a plumber. Now I'm on the Lamborghini yacht and he's in a hurricane. Vidal Riley definitely thought that this was more of a draw if anything, and he's not happy about everyone crying about a robbery. I thought it was a draw. Watching it here, I thought it was a draw. Um, I think one, JJ won round one and two, point taken off. Tommy won three, four, five, then I might have just edged the last to JJ just based on what done something and what spurred something. Um, but it was a draw. I can see how Tommy won. It's not a robbery. People love throwing robbery around. If something's close and it doesn't go to the guy that you wanted to win, it doesn't make it a robbery. It just means it didn't go your way. Gareth A. Davies wasn't too surprised by the outcome and he thinks that both fighters gave it their all. 57-56 to Fury. It was a really close fight. Um, entertaining, they couldn't work each other out. Be disappointed at all in, um, in the performances, maybe? No. They both gave their all. Tommy Fury re relief is tangible every time he's under so much pressure. Whenever he does anything. Bryce Hall genuinely felt as though KSI won and he was surprised by the decision. Bryce tweeted, I've left before they announced Tommy won. I genuinely thought KSI won that. I'm no KSI fan, but that wasn't a W by Tommy at all. Wade Concept definitely believes in KSI after watching that fight, and he tweeted, That was at best a draw, but I will tell you that KSI did not lose that fight, which, in my opinion, is a win for KSI. Not one he'll accept because his mentality is far from moral victories. KSI made a believer out of me today. Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia responded in classic Ryan fashion. Ryan stated, Just get KSI a hair transplant and call it a night. I'm out. Aljamain Sterling was not amused by what he saw, and he made it very clear on social media. Sterling stated, Can't believe y'all paid for this. Meanwhile, Sean O'Malley found KSI's forehead to be the most amazing part of the fight. Sean stated, KSI forehead is f 
Incredible. Never seen anything like it. Truly unbelievable. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.